Hello everyone, Magdalena here, Wolf of Coins. Look what I have just found in my mailbox. Oh. Um, so yeah, I thought that after this very brainy, <laughs> brain-involved video from yesterday, I would just do a fun, fun unboxing video today. So this is the Hair Crafters Tarot by uh, we, we, look, Joanna Powell Colbert and Latisha Guthrie, I hope this is right, and published by US Games. And oh my, this is a beautiful box. I kind of, I think I saw it somewhere, but I, I really forgot. It looks like this. It's pretty impressive because it's not your regular tarot box it's a sturdy nice box with oh with a ribbon look at that oh I see how it is so this is the guidebook let's see oh yeah so you get a page probably for each card oh, just smelling the guidebook my normal thing don't pay any mind. <laughs> so yeah, each card in this deck has um, a herb <laughs> associated with it. And as far as I understand it, um, these were like real compositions created by the authors. Then a photograph was taken and the illustrator um, would create a colored pencil image out of it. So if you don't know, I'll just tell you, uh, colored pencils, it's a technique for patient people. Really, I mean, many people say, oh, watercolor is hard because it is hard, but it is hard in a different way because it's like, it doesn't allow mistakes. But colored pencils is just, yeah, I tried it a bit. I kind of liked it, but uh, it's so slow. It's just so slow, you guys. So kudos to Joanna Powell Colbert for creating these. It's amazing. So these are the bags. And let's make a flip through. So this is uh, the full and it's dandelion. How gorgeous. Magician is the sunflower. Interesting. I wonder what will be the sun then. <laughs> yeah, you'd think it's it will be the, uh, the sunflower, but no. Then the high priestess. So I love the palette here. The, those blues. They fit pretty well with the yeah with the high priestess card and it's mugwort. Then the Empress, of course, of course, the Empress is Rose. And there's this honeycomb here. Look at this heart. And I wonder if there is like explanation of the Im image in the guidebook. Let's see. Oh, what I really like, every uh, plant has its Latin name. So I can check it out in my language too without like too much problems because sometimes it's a bit complicated to find the equivalent so if we have the Latin names it's perfect you can tell that somebody who uh, really knows their stuff about plants did this <laughs> um, <laughs> okay a honey colored work table is covered in wild roses fall leaves are arranged in a crown the seeds of fat, juicy rose hips spill out next to pink heart-shaped petals. Buds and flowers lie on the honeycomb. Red chiles form a tris triskily, like a triple this this. I know it under the triskel name, uh, pointing to a flaming heart. Flaming heart. Uh, Stone bead of the woman of Willendorf, a representation of the great mother is strung onto a rosary. Where is it? Hmm? Is it this one? 
Oh, I wouldn't guess it is. But yeah, if it's Venus from Willendorf, it it doesn't resemble it. Maybe it's a, a different figurine. I don't know. Um, so there's a message. And oh, there's like crafting with and there's with the Empress in this instance. And is it for every one of them? Yeah, for the miners as well. So crafting with um, four of water or something, you get like these three here. For example, arrange rose thorns and petals together on your altar to cultivate vulnerability and strength. Oh, lovely. There is also like a short message here. And there's a longer one here. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's go further. Oh, the emperor, it's Hemlock. What's Hemlock? <laughs> well, I can see what's there. It's like pine, kind of, thingy. So, is that Ophelia? Ooh. Okay, I will need to check it out, but I have the Latin name, so it's perfect. Yeah, I like this like four number four the square arrangement here. Nice. Then the hierophant is Coco. Coco, how amazing! I love this figurine here. Probably it will be explained in the guidebook, which is nice. I love the colors. Oh, and the cardstock is very nice. It's this type of US Games cardstock that is like springy and not too thin. I'll see how they shuffle. And oh, by the way, it's a bit uh, bigger than your usual, your uh, usual average tarot deck. Let's see what I have here. I have here my Golden Botticelli tarot by Los Carabeo and look. So it's a bit taller and broader. Okay. So the lovers, the lovers, Hawthorn. Oh, it, and it's one is blooming and one is with fruit. And here there are thorns. Wow. Lovely. <gasps> the chariot is cedar. Or is it cedar? You know what I mean. <laughs> you can see here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah, I saw this card on the internet and it was one of those that like sold me on this deck. It's like, how gorgeous is this garlic here? Oh, my goodness. So this is strength. So strength is like in Rider Waite Smith decks. It's number eight here. So justice will be 11. Oh, beautiful hermit. Asnea? What is it? Yeah, I will be checking these names. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is Kitchen Garden. Ha <laughs> ha! Ingenious. Love it. Oh, oh, cannabis is for justice. And it's so beautiful. Like, look at this green here. Oh. The, the Hanged One Burdock. Oh, there are runes for Odin, who was the, the hanged one. Lovely. Ooh, marigold for death. Oh, wow. With those, what are they called? I checked them recently for the Mariel Fool. Mariel Tarot's Fool is with these butterflies. Uh, temperance? Camellia. Oh, camellia. Oh, oh, I love camellias. And the tea here. Ah, oh, lovely. I love tea. The devil is blackberry. <laughs> Interesting choice. Interesting choice. Ooh, the tower is mushroom. Yeah, well, it kind of makes sense. They like some mushrooms grow on the trees, which are pillars like a tower oh this is gorgeous yeah i'm just wow wow this is awesome and this is awesome i love i love that <laughs> but yeah i love it it's a star created 
from cottonwood leaves, if I understand it correctly. There are like stones inside the, this bow. Beautiful, and there are little tiny star stones here. Oh, the moon. Oh, wow, look at these flowers representing the moon phases. <gasps> Brilliant. Oh, of course, St. John's Wort is the sun. It really makes sense. I love St. John's Wort. And, and it's uh, a, an, a herb that is very important uh, in Slavic traditions. A very powerful evil repellent too <laughs> and used yeah used for pro protection i wonder what these are though ah awakening so it's not judgment number 20 is awakening i don't know this plant oh but beautiful there are praying beads oh the world pachamama there's a Pachamama card in my um, Goddess Oracle deck. That's interesting. Oh, beautiful! Beautiful! So there are various... It looks like Malin here. There is this... Oh, I know this plant. I just don't remember its name in English. But it's very good for like healing wounds and such. And uh, there's yarrow and probably nettles. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, there's yarrow here, by the way. Ace of air. So we don't have uh, swords, wands, cups and coins. We get the elements. So I suppose, I suppose that, oh, there's mullen. Um, so I suppose that uh, the swords are air, but I'm not sure. I will have to consult the guidebook because it depends on creators sometimes. It's different associations, but yeah. Beautiful yarrow, beautiful mullen. It's just right now where I live, they are in full bloom. Ah, oh, amazing. Plantain. Okay. So this is, oh, so these are the aces. Oh, ace of fire with mullen makes such sense. It's, yeah, it's brilliant because uh, these were used before, uh, like cotton threads got popular for um, the wicks and candles. People would use dried mullen um, for that purpose. So they are definitely, and they are, you know, they are, yellow they have this energy uh, of the sun and they also grow in kind of dry and exposed places so excellent choice and they are so proud you know they can be so large so tall okay so now ace of water and nettle is the ace of earth oh okay so these are all that appear uh, on the world card and I was right, it's, it is nettle. And it's possible that this is, yeah, this is this plant that I thought about. There are two, like, two types of this one. There is, the other one is with round leaves, and this one is, like, more like uh, sword-shaped leaves. But anyway, they are pretty common. Mm. Oh, chicory. I love chicory. Yeah, I love so many plants. <laughs> but yeah, I remember going with my grandma to collect these and uh, also the St. John's wort and other herbs. So this is two. And now we get two of fire. So we have aces, then twos and threes and so on. Bee balm. Oh, mallow. I love mallows. What a surprise. <laughs> but I love them. They also are blooming right now. So it's two of water and we have this like nymph here and the shell with water and hummingbirds. Oh, wow. Witch hazel and little teats. 
the two of earth, three of air, Echinacea, a great plant. Calendula, oh, so threes are like strong healing plants, maybe. Oh, beautiful. Lemon balm, oh, lemon balm is just such a wonderful plant. When I was really stressed out uh, with a little baby and yeah, I couldn't sleep even though I was completely exhausted. I would drink in the evenings, I would drink lemon balm and it really helps uh, helps you relax. Oh, and raspberry. Oh, they look delicious. Oh, lavender, another one that I love. So uh, I am pretty sensitive to f smells. This is one of my <laughs> probably strongest senses. Even when I, you know, visualize things like in meditation or, or something, this is one of the things that comes pretty easy to me. It's like sight and smell, but I'm short-sighted. Anyway, <laughs> digression. Anyway, um, there are some plants that I just cannot stand the smell of. They are too fragrant for me. They, Their smell doesn't agree with me. Um, example being basil. People love it so much. I just cannot stand the smell or... Um, I'm not a fan of mint either, unless it's in my toothpaste. <laughs> so yeah, but lavender is not one of them. I love lavender smell. It's wonderful. Oh, elder is full of fire. Look, there's, there's Mother Mary image here. Interesting. I'm looking forward to reading in the guidebook. Oh yeah, there's mint. <laughs> So it has like too much fragrance for me and I it's it's too much for me, yeah. So there's beautiful mint. Oh willow for the baskets. Four of earth. Wonderful. White sage, five of air. Oh beautiful. It's so like it's such a this scenery is so calming. You look, someone is working here. There's this knife and this thread and they're preparing these probably smudge sticks. Uh, and, and the light is so, I don't know, calming and everything looks so nice and relaxing. Black cohosh? I don't know this plant. I don't think so. Golden seed. Oh, so this is five of fire. This is five of water. Golden seal. Not sure. Slippery elm. Five of earth. Yeah, look, there are those two chairs here, and probably someone is just relaxing there on their like free afternoon. Oh, feathers. Six of air. Cat tail. So, oh, this is this. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Nasturtium. Six of fire. Beautiful candles. Huh. Ball rage. Goodness, what is this? Oh, I, I love this, this female figurine here. Oh. oh, pine for six of earth. I love pine smell, pine oil. Although uh, fur oil is my favorite. Yeah, I love trees in general. Eucalyptus, oh yeah, it's gorgeous smell. Seven of air. Cinnamon is one of those smells that I don't vibe with. Um, yeah, I used to like it, then I... I got food poisoned with something with cinnamon and it's been, I don't know, 20 something years <laughs> and I cannot still, well, I can stand it, but I don't enjoy it, sadly. Oh, birch, one of my favorite trees ever, seven of water. Are these sticks or nails, I wonder? Oh, and there is oem. Here, the Celtic alphabet. If I, yeah, I think it is. 
there is oak. Oh, so we are in the, yeah, in the trees department. Lovely. It's not only herbs, it's also trees. Oh, oak. Yeah, it's not surprising, but I love oaks. <laughs> But you can see this is this is the oak typical for I think for the Americas or Northern America, I'm not sure, because in Europe they are more like um rounded. The spikes are rounded. But yeah, still it's an oak, a gorgeous oak. And there is a book and a basket. Oh, licorice. No, 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 no. Yuck. Yuck. Pretty, but ugh. The taste and smell, yuck. <laughs> Ginger, my enemy. It's eight of fire. This is eight of air. So yeah, Ginger and me not agreeing too much. Valerian. Oh yeah, I saw this image as well before I bought the deck. And oh, it's just so, so beautiful. The colors remind me of those like Greek towns or... Yeah, for example, the Santorini Island, where you have those white houses with round blue roofs. And then turmeric, eight of earth. Oh, pomegranate, nine of air. Oh, wow. What is it? What is this? Oh, I didn't pay attention, but there is, this is like, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, you can actually, if you don't enjoy the borders, you can actually trim them and you will know uh, which number it is and which suit because there are different symbols. See, this is for earth, this is for water, the V is for fire, and this is for air. How brilliant. I didn't see them before. Only here I realized there is something like that. Wild cherry is for nine of fire. Ugh, peach tree. Is it like a robe here? Um, nine of water. Apple, nine of air, earth. Oh, wow. Alpha, alpha, ten of air. In the sight, comfrey, ten of fire. So we are almost done with the miners. Red clover, oh yeah, love red clover. They, their smell is wonderful. Well, white clover also smells great. Horsetail. Oh, wow. Wow. I love the basket and the greenery here. Catnip. Oh, so there are uh, the cords are not your regular king, queen, knight and page. They are different and I, <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to read it. But they also have a special symbol for them. So this is equivalent, I suppose, of page, of air, of fire. This is California poppy. <laughs> Look at this cute tiger here. Then there is chamomile. And it's water. Oh, linden. <sighs> it's for earth. Of course it is. I'm so glad that they, they included trees in this deck. I love it. So then there is uh, probably it's the, the equivalent of a knight, Adelita, oregano. Oh, one of those that I cannot stand the smell of. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. This is lovely. Cayenne. Oh, this is my true enemy. <laughs> Yeah, one of them. Most of the spices are really... But this is what you get when you your nose is so sensitive and you really... Yeah, the smell, uh, the taste... Like, when you're tasting something, half of the taste is probably the smell. 
So imagine if you're really, you know, sensitive, then, then it's hard. Oh, wow. These are Bridget crosses made from yucca leaves. Wow. This is interesting. Or this is something like very, very, very similar to Bridget crosses. And uh, there is, okay, so the queen is the mother, so madre of her heir, mother word. Then fine, mm, fire, madre of water, it's oats, brilliant. <laughs> there is also even oats here. Creosote bush, not sure what it is. That looks lovely. And now, uh, curandera. Okay, so these are the kings in your traditional tarot. It's rosemary. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Rosemary is is amazing. Love it. The smell. I mean, even like touching the leaves and then smelling your fingers. Ugh. Yeah. Damiana. I don't know. Oh, I will have so much reading to do. <laughs> Seaweed is for water, of course. Brilliant. And lastly, sweet grass. Oh, sweet grass smells amazing. Divine. So this is the curandera of earth. And these are all the cards. I hope you've enjoyed it. I wonder how it will read this deck. Let's just check how it shuffles. Yeah, as I expected, excellent, excellent. So it reminds me of the cardstock for, let's see, for the Oracle of Mystical Moments a bit. I think the, yeah, the Oracle of Mystical Moments is a little bit thicker, but other, other than that, it's very like similar finish and springiness. Let's pull a card for us all, shall we? Let's see. Ah, what do we have? Oh, it's oats. This is also one of the um, images that I saw online before buying the deck and I also loved it. So it's Madre of Water. Wait a minute, where are you? Mm, okay. So the Madre of Water is a master of self-care. She's kind and gracious to others because she's kind and gracious to herself. Oh yeah, this is the like the basis of self-love and self-care. As oat straw replenishes the land, she takes time to rest. By doing so publicly, she inspires others to do the same. She plants oats in the garden each year to replenish and fortify the soil. She feels full and complete after a day of good work. She understands the power of oat straw and delights in the calming medicine it provides. She knows healing take, takes time and she has faith in her daily cup of tea. Of course, me too. Me too. Um, just as oats soothe frazzled emotions, the Madre of Water transforms tension into healing. Embrace your emotions. They expand your capacity for compassion. What a lovely message for us all, right? And crafting with a madre of water. Drink old straw infusion every day for emotional nourishment. Interesting. Never thought of that. Another one. Take an oatmeal bath to nourish the body. Huh. Or feed oat seeds to squirrels or chickens or grow them in your garden to nourish the earth. So lovely. And lastly, this part. Let the mother of water soothe your soul. 
Release anxiety by nourishing body and spirit. Open your heart and let your intuition flow. I think it's it's a lovely deck. I really like it. I hope I will continue to like it. Please let me know what you thought of it. And yeah, take care. Take care of yourselves. Have a lovely day. Bye.